Outlaws roll into town, generally, you know, um, they're a little bit tougher um, just because of the fact that they are, <clears throat> it doesn't, they, they race, they can adapt well to any situation um, because they do it so much, um, you know, anywhere from 80 to 100 nights out of the year, I guess. Um, they can just, um, they throw down fast at straight out of the box, no matter, even if they go to a new place that the outlaws haven't been to, but they can set, you know, a new track record just like that because they can adapt so well. I'm really looking forward to 2021. Uh, Going to be racing home full time. It's, honestly, it's the first time staying around home for five or six years now. So really excited to try and run as much as I possibly can around here, especially King Speedway and uh, or Colorado Speedway. I'm going to run for the NARC Championship. And, um, you know, there's so much going on out here in California with uh, Peter putting on all the 410 events here at, at, uh, at Hanford. You know, we haven't had local 410 racing around here my entire career, so I'm really excited about that. You know, I'm working with Jimmy Carr, and, um, you know, we got a lot of good right now and uh, a lot of exciting stuff going on in California. Two trophy cups, the World of Outlaws are coming back, ASCS Nationals coming to town. Um, you know, really for me, this is a perfect year to stay home because there is so much racing going on and there's so many big races, so I'm very excited about that for uh, this season. You know, for a driver that changes rides a lot or is driving several different race cars, it's extremely difficult. One, a small thing is, is how you fit in the race car. If you have different engine builders, the engines are going to throttle a little bit different. Different size cars react a little bit different. Different, um, you know, chassis companies react a little bit different. So, um, for a driver to switch different cars and be competitive in all of them is extremely rare. And it's, you know, it, it really shows a lot of talent that the driver has to be able to change rides. When you look at guys like Kyle Hurst, Bud Kading, um, you know, Buddy Kofoid, that have run several different cars in one year and win in several of them and, and run well in several of them. It says a lot about the talent behind the driver because so many things are unfamiliar to you and um, you know you got a lot of times you're working with different people behind the wrenches. So um, your language as a driver explaining, hey, the car feels tight or you know, it's dipping in on the entry of the corner has to change as well and evolve as well because you're working with someone different who has their own language. So you really have to evolve as a driver. You have to be very uh, open-minded and you have to be able to explain yourself um, you know, as good as possible, and you have to be extremely talented. So, for me, it's watching guys like Kyle Hurst and Bud Kading, and uh, you know, guys that, that do it a lot, jumping car to car, and have success in every car they drive. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting more and more excited. 